Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial from scratch. And this is guys, this is part 15th of this video session series. So if you are a beginner from this video session, then I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video session to get the clear concept about how we develop plugin development in WordPress. In last video session, if you remember, then we have learned that how can we make our Ajax request from WP pages to server. So these all resources that we have made in our last video session, just we have made our Ajax request from JavaScript page, with JavaScript folder, click on Notepad++. Plus plus. So this is the request that guys that we have made in our last video session to the server page and this is the library file which basically handles our request which comes from JavaScript pages and uh, this is nothing but this is the HTML form basically a form which gives a, which gives an interface to attract the server. So in this video session we are going to discuss about something called WPDB object this is nothing but this is object actually provided by wordpress this is a global variable which basically interacts with the database to make our query to either either we want to insert values either we want to retry values delete update any kind of operations we want to manipulate with the database this global object is basically used in that condition okay so if we go if you go to the documentation section of WPDB object as I have opened for you so as you can see this is the documentation section of WPDB class and WPDB is nothing but it's an object as you can see it's an object so if you read carefully the documentation section of this then you can find that WordPress defines a class called WPDB okay and where actually this class exists let me find that just click on WP content folder first app go to WP includes and here you can find something called WPDB okay let me find that so view small icons okay WPDB So guys if we scroll to the down here we can see wp-db.php so if we open this file then we can see it's a wordpress db class and here is wp db class okay so this class actually gives the object something called wp db object so this is the object which basically comes from this class so back to the documentation section then we can see which contain a set of functions used to interact with the database its primary purpose is to provide an interface with the wordpress database okay guys this statement is very important to you please keep in your mind that wpdb object basically interacts our application if we are making our plugin or theme or any kind of application like visit so wpdb object interacts our application with the database which database actually attracts or attached without application okay so by using wpdb object we can make our manipulation operations like insert if you see in the right hand side it's select operation it's something called insert operation update delete so many operations so all these operations are happen by the help of wpdb object so so wpdb object is very important object because it interacts with the database and it's and basically the primary function of wpdb class is with the database and uh, this is another documentation for you it is possible to replace the class with your own by setting wpdb global variable okay wpdb is a global variable okay so let we do some operations with wpdb so if we want some statements i will write for you sub global object basically comes from wpdb class okay and where this file exists 
it exists under WP includes slash wpdv.php file so this is the file which basically contains the class definition of as you can see of wpdv and this class exists within wp includes folder and this is the file as you can see so let me see some operations so guys if you are beginner from this video session then please watch my previous videos by going to our youtube channel this is the youtube channel that we have provided so many videos for you as you can see if you click on video section then you can see all videos that we have made so far for you so all videos you can get from here so back to our tutorial these all videos as you can see we have provided so many tutorials for you like development plugin theme development as well as visit development so any type of customization use wordpress you can learn from here so now let me check some operations of WPDB. So let me make some queries to run or use WPDB object. So simple operations we can see in this tutorial. Simply we just pull some data from WP posts table. Okay, WP underscore post. Okay. so where is this table exist go to database so this is the database guys WP post and we are going to retrieve all posts from this table okay for now to our application by using WP DB object so how can we do that simply WP DB slash get results WPDB prepare select strings from WP posts. Okay, suppose we are going to limit some like five values we want order by its uh, ID. Open that structure and order by ID. Okay. So we want only five values order by ID. Okay, let me cut that. Paste it at the end. Order by ID, it's ID. So basically what this syntax actually does guys, I will explain in my later video sessions because in later video session we will discuss step by step how we use get results function. What is the purpose of WPDB prepare function? So don't be effort from these functions we will explain in a bit so just store the result db results something called variable and just print r here and okay so let me check the values of this so nothing we have done just inserted a simple query in, in function get results get results is a function which basically gives all the data from the table that we have supplied and wp db prepare function is basically is used to prevent our sql query from hackers it is from it is used for sql injection to prepare unwanted queries which will be injected to our code so let me run that control s to save and just go to admin admin and we have we did the code at add new dot php file and if you remember add new dot php file is basically linked with our add new submenu okay this is add new function and add new function basically contains add new dot php so just click on add new call to menu function get results okay guys it's a call to member function get results get results and as we know guys wpdb objects is a global variable so just we need to declare first 
it's a global variable WPTB and just refresh this button as you can see the error of get results function has gone now so another error is WPDB prepare function okay it takes two parameter so just we need to supply single quotes for now just refresh this button and the error has gone completely from screen now so guys if you are afraid from WPDB get results function WPDB prepare functions so I will explain in later video session about this syntax just in this video session I want to give you about WPDB introduction part what it's its basic use how actually we use WPDB object in our WordPress pages to make the database query so uh, just click on refresh again and this is the value guys actually we get from WP post table so let me make some formatting for that echo and pre tag for that echo pre tag close now okay just click on press as you can see now we get actually result in some formatting in a better way so you can say it returns an array and it is array of object okay all values we are now getting from the screen and these all values are possible with the help of WPTB object and by using get results function get results function actually actually returns all the values which basically stored in WP post table so let me check some values so the first value we got that is welcome to WordPress and hello world okay guys so order by ID we have supplied but it's give it actually given the value in ascending order so just click on refresh button and the first value we should see about hello world as you can see post title hello world so these all values we got by the help of WPDB object and these all functions like wget results prepare these all functions I will explain in later video session so in this video session we have learned that how we use actually WPDB object and uh, about and the, the basic primary function of WPDB class guys about its definition uh, its primary purpose is to provide interface with the database WordPress database okay and it's a global object we have to keep it in mind before using it it's a global object and by the help of this object we manipulate our database with the following functions like if you want to select a variable if you want to insert some row if you want to update or as well as delete okay so step by step we will see all the functions related with WPDB object so guys I think I have made much more clear concept about WPDB object so if you have any query about this object or if you want some extra suggestions extra resources from us then please do comment in the comment box I will give my reply as soon as possible and also you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel then I strongly recommend please do come subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest videos updates about our online web tutor okay guys so for this video session thank you for watching have a great day